Okay, I've been um, I've been hearing some frankly nonsense about uh, finishing springs lately. So um, this is a nicely finished spring, as you can see. Um, the bottom and top edge of it are nicely uh, ground flat, and the ends of it are polished. Unfortunately, <coughs> it's just a bit too hot. It's uh, it needs calming down a little bit. So what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to collapse um, one of the springs. And uh, just a quick video to show you how to do that. First of all, I've got a bit of bar that is roughly the same size. It's a little bit loose, but um, it's better than nothing. Um, if you've got an old spring guide out of the gun, that's ideal. Um, but that's what I'm going to use to help me guide the process. I've got some pliers and I've got a blowtorch. Okay, set my blowtorch up so it's uh, it's working so that uh, you know the hottest part of the flame is just on the end of that blue cone there. So that's the bit you want to be aiming at the point of the spring. Now you want to localize the heat just on the part of the spring that you want to affect. So in my case it's right down here at the bottom. So I just want to warm up that very last coil. As you can see as I do it, the colour changes. Now that's uh, it's a different, uh, different conversation. What we're after is we're after just warming up the very bottom part of the spring until it glows red. See the, the thinnest part, which gets hottest quicker, is now a dark blue colour. The rest of it just begin to get to a blue colour. Okay. Finished part starting to glow red. Here we go. Now then at this point, once it's started to glow red, the steel itself doesn't act like spring steel anymore. Well, it's, it's nice and pliable, it's more like a, a chewing gum. Nice and easy to work. So I'll get it glowing. Like so, I'm going to use my pliers and I'm just going to crush that down. Like so. I'll use me to make sure it's nice and flat. Now as you can see I've not actually collapsed much spring because I don't want to take much power off it. Um, I mean for maybe half a foot pound. There you can see that nice closed up thing there. The next thing you need to do is quench it in water, cold water. Dub it in water, cool it down. Right. Okay so that's now cool. I'm just going to polish up the um, the blackened part of the spring. Just a quick wipe around with a little bit of wet and dry paper. And uh, we'll talk about hardening and tempering. Now effectively, that's done. You don't need to do anything else. Um, but it's worth knowing the difference between spring steel and normal steel and tool steel and all that kind of stuff. If you think about your car, your car is made of mild steel. When you bend your car, it doesn't spring back into shape. That's because it's got very little carbon in it. If you think about a file, a file, you can use it for uh, filing off metal off, a, off a other bits of steel. That's because it's got a lot of carbon in it and it doesn't flex, it doesn't move. You can snap a file. Spring steel is somewhere in between the two. It's got a medium amount of carbon in it. So what you've got to do to get that kind of flexibility is you've got to temper it. Now then I'm not suggesting that you need to temper this simply because now that that's squashed down it's not an effective part of a spring. It's just, you know, just a bent bit of metal at the bottom. But there's been a lot of talk, I've, I've, I've read a lot of things where people are just plain getting it wrong. Once you've done that, you're done. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't think about anything else because you've just created a bit of dead metal at the bottom. All this is still spring steel. 
but you've got to be careful when you're heat treating this stuff because the ideal uh, to harden and temper this you heat the whole thing up to cherry red don't do it uh, quench it in water to freeze it at that point polish it all up and then you'd heat it all up to blue and then you'd leave it to cool in air and that's what gives you your spring capabilities so there you go that's collapsing a spring